Welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I'm Tony Guerra, the pharmacist and author of the Memorizing Pharmacology book series, bringing you mnemonics, cases, and advice for succeeding in pharmacology. Sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Let's get started with the show. All right, I just wanted to kind of explain audiobook codes and how to use them. Um, in our next uh, email, which should go out Tuesday, the, today's the 20th, 27th. Um, so if you're on the email list, uh, the way to get on it is go to memorizingfarm.com and then you scroll down uh, to our best pharmacology cheat sheet, yours free. It's just a name and an address. Um, but uh, I just wanted to let you know what's coming to you. Um, it's going to be a, a link to a, a spreadsheet that has um, all of the um, books that I, I've written, uh, whether I've written it or it was in collaboration with someone else, uh, but anything that I have my name to, the, the 30 books that I have my name to. Um, we, we have this individually on the, the website under books, uh, but I, I thought it would be easier to just make a spreadsheet. So if you ever want to like, okay, uh, I've done this one. What's the next book? Um, how does that help? And so forth. Uh, I think that, that that's going to be useful. Uh, so again, I'll, I'll send this link out to the, the website. But what I want to do is kind of explain you know, how to use it. So here's the books. And, and it's just literally like, here's the link. Uh, to this book and um, you know how to hear it on Audible to hear the five minute uh, free <clears throat> introduction. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm, I've just put the first seven books on there. Uh, the questions, answers, and rationales, the ones that go by pathophysiologic class, so GI, musculoskeletal, respiratory, immune, neuro, cardio, and endocrine. Uh, those are on sheet two. Uh, those are the codes uh, here. Uh, for each book and um, you can see that there's US versus uh, Great Britain and I will explain how that works in just a minute um, but I've you know separated all the books by it's either uh, pharmacology books um, residency uh, if you're looking for a residency and in, in the interviews and things that go along with that a couple of pre-med pre-pharmacy pharmacy student books I've written a long time ago and then one family book that I, I wrote uh, but again those are the links to to get to the free like five minute you know uh, free audio uh, preview um, and then if you want the book free if you've never been on audible you can get it free there uh, but what these codes are these are like free free uh, if you want to use uh, double of the same thing but i wanted to explain the difference between a u.s code and a uk code uh, so uh, a u.s code is one where you um are on audible.com uh, okay so audible.com is the u.s codes audible.co.uk is the uk codes but where the confusion comes is well i'm in the united states but i'm from england or europe even or i'm in europe and i'm from the united states or I actually have accounts in both. So it has nothing to do with, and I wrote that up there, but it has nothing to do with where you actually live. It has to do with which one you have an account to or which one you want to have an account to. Uh, so again, I think you could just give me, make an account if you just wanted the code. Uh, because there are more GB codes, uh, Great Britain codes, uh, than there are US codes, uh, simply because uh, my you know, fan base is is mostly U.S. and I'm you know, an American in the middle, you know, in the heartland in Iowa. Uh, so, uh, but it doesn't mean that you can't use it. So, what I want to do is kind of explain how it works. So, the first thing is, uh, so you go down and you just kind of pick which book you want. So, there's seven books here, and if it's it's in order. So, if it's GB up here, that means it's only Great Britain codes. That's all I've got left. Uh, if it starts with four U.S. codes, that means I have four U.S. codes left and the rest are Great Britain. Uh, and then if I have this many U.S. codes, then, then I have that many U.S. codes. And so what you do is you kind of pick, okay, so whichever one it's going to be. If you're in U.S., then you go to audible.com ACX promo and it looks like this, okay, and you just 
literally copy and paste the code in here and you redeem. Okay, and you can see this is my Audible account. So hi, Anthony, um, I've got one credit available, buy three extra credits if you want. I am, you know, somebody who loves audiobooks as a listener, uh, not only, you know, as an author. So I think I have over 700. Um, so it's, <laughs> when you have kids, that, that happens, okay? And you'll notice that the one for the UK is the exact same. It's just audible.co.uk. Um, I'm not signing in there because I, my, my, um, my account is, is with Audible proper. Okay? But you're gonna get something like this. If you try to go to audible.co.uk, um, they'll look at your location and say, okay, well, you're in Iowa. Are you sure you meant to go to audible.co.uk? And if you just click on it, then you get sent to audible.co.uk, which looks the exact same, except things are spelled in um, this way. So instead of a Z with customize, it would be S with customize. And everything is in uh, pound sterling rather than uh, in dollars. So in terms of like, you know, where you go, it, it's really up to you. Um, just with what I've talked to people about, as they said, it's usually easier on a, a tablet or a computer to use promo codes that are in another country. It's just a little bit easier. I think it can be done on uh, smartphones and so forth. It's just a little bit harder. Uh, but I just wanted to explain what those were. So uh, again, uh, thanks for being you know a loyal subscriber as it were. Um, we've just hit a big milestone recently. Uh, so I'm glad to see so many of you are getting uh, a you know, good value out of it. Um, if you do join, you, you get the cheat sheet, which is basically uh, top 350 drugs with the stems underlined uh, for the ones that have stems. Uh, and, you know, an orderly way to, to remember pharmacology. So if you're in a class, what usually happens is, is that you get some kind of list of, okay, well, here's the medications if you're lucky. Uh, and it might be an alphabetical order. And what you want to do is you want to put it in the best order to memorize. So for example, for GI, you would put the antacids first, then the H2 blockers, then the proton pump inhibitors, because clinically, most people are going to start with an antacid, go over the counter, find out that doesn't work exactly, go to an H2 blocker, that's twice a day. And then if they have some kind of ulceration, they would go to a proton pump inhibitor. But if you do it in that way, not only are you learning the drug, but you are learning the therapeutics. And so what I did was I did that for all the drugs, like diuretics, you absolutely want to learn. Starting at the glomerulus, then you uh, do the proximal convoluted tubule with mannitol and acetazolamide. Then you go to the ascending loop of Henle with the loop diuretics like furosemide. Then you go to the distal convoluted tubule, hydrochlorothiazide, and then the collecting duct where you're really, you know, you're talking about the potassium sparing diuretics, the spironolactone and a plerinone. So what I've actually done is already put everything in order in the pharmacology book. And that's really what the mnemonics are is it's putting it in a memorizable order. So my <clears throat> Tony PharmD YouTube channel just started really with uh, the seven videos I made that was me just going up in front of the board and doing all of the drugs from memory. I said, well, you know, you teach pharmacology, of course you know them from memory. No, that, that wasn't it. It was that I took the time to put them in order to make it the easiest to remember everything uh, by pathophysiologic class. So uh, again, uh, watch for this on your, um, in your email on Tuesday, uh, the 27th. <clears throat> I'll get that out there. And then uh, again, you can just kind of explore and see which links, you know, you like and, you know, certainly give me some feedback if you can. I, I think I titled it something like, uh, you can always contact me at TonyThePharmacist at gmail.com. Um, but I've got, for example, the medical coding mnemonics has been really popular um, with that group of medical coders. They, they don't get tend to get a ton of audiobooks. And then the pharmacy technician one also uh, made one that makes it a lot easier to, to just study for the test, you know, on your way to work and back and so forth. So let me know what you think. Um, but uh, yeah, the, that's going to be you know, the audiobooks, and again, I'll, I'll put that in your email um, next Tuesday, uh, June 27th. So if you do get on the list now, uh, we'll, we'll have it to you uh, next week.
Thanks for listening to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. You can find episodes, cheat sheets, and more at memorizingpharm.com. Again, you can sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Thanks again for listening.